she may not be a conventional beauty, but her misshapen nose is the symbol of the Russian Republic of Kalmykia and synonymous with life on the Eurasian steppes. But for how much longer? The saigar antelope is an endangered species. Back in 1977, they were thought to number more than 700,000. These days, less than 18,000 saigar roam Kalmykia's plains. The main reasons are poaching, illegal hunting and wolves, huge numbers of which migrated here from the Caucasus in 98-2001. Even now we still have more females than males. Founded in 2002, the Center for Wild Animals is the only successful captive breeding center for saigar in the world. The aim to increase the local population. They began with just 23 calves taken in from the wild, raising and feeding them artificially. 17 survived, now there are 68. Well, Dasha and Masha, as these two are called, are just one and a half years old. And they're the eighth generation of Saigar antelope to be bred successfully in captivity in this Kalmykian center. And it's exporting its success. 28 Saigar were sent to China in 1997 to kickstart their once indigenous population. Animals have also been sent to the Russian regions of Rostov, Astrakhan and the Moscow City Zoo. Sprawled over 800 hectares of land, just four people live and work here permanently to ward off wolves, carry out medical examinations and study Saigar behavioral patterns. These electronic collars allow us to track the Saigar via satellite. They were donated by an American scientist. In December, we plan to release two males into the wild, but we'll still be able to monitor their progress. Poaching remains their biggest fear, but the centre says they've seen a slight decline in recent months. They believe people are becoming more aware. Yet foreign demand remains strong, particularly in Asia, where the male saigar horn is used in Chinese medicine. But in Kalmykia, they're determined to see the saigar once again dominate the Russian steppes. And they know it's not just hard work that's required, but a leap of faith. Alice Abbott, RT Kalmykia.